Welcome back. It's time to start getting the roof on this thing. I used some half inch OSB as the roof deck to stiffen the structure. And I got some metal roofing from a friend who was tearing down a garage, so I got to reuse that, which was good. I like using metal roofing whenever possible because it's super weather tight and it goes up really fast, a lot quicker than regular shingles. We used some L casing to, uh, to cover up the edge where the roof uh, panels attached to keep blowing rain out from getting inside the coop. We left a gap at the top of the ridge and covered that with a piece of that L trim so we'd have a vented uh, roof ridge. Now it's time to start building the nest boxes. I found the plans for this on a website called thebackyardcoop.com and it was in one of their blog postings um, just how to, add, how to add this external nest box so that you don't have to go inside the coop to collect eggs. We put a little slope on the top to shed rain and snow and then just kind of encased it. We used some scrap plywood to form the sides of the nest boxes and then wrapped the whole thing in some old uh, shelving units that somebody was throwing out. It's just plywood that's painted white, but we got to repurpose that. So we start measuring and attaching uh, the doors. There's three doors for the nest boxes, and each door covers two nest boxes. And each nest box takes up one entire stud bay, so it's two feet wide, which is probably a little wider than, than the normal like one foot square nest. I often find two hens at a time uh, nesting in there to lay their eggs, but so far it seems to work okay. Used some strap hinges to attach the doors. I wanted something that was going to be sturdy because it's going to see a lot of use and it's exposed to the elements. Fiddling to get the doors to fit just right was kind of a process. Make sure they would swing correctly on the hinges. And so now make sure all the doors are going to close correctly with just a quick shave of the hand plane. And then sheath it in the same uh, T111 siding that I used for the rest of the coop so it would match. And provide a little protection for that salvaged plywood door. Now it's time to frame in the walk-in door. Just use some scrap 2x4s and 1x4s to frame out an opening. Used a piece of scrap plywood as the door and then framed it with some scraps so that the door wouldn't bend and buckle. And then put it up with some strap hinges so it'd be good and sturdy and works like a charm.